Right, so this is a third vid from the first lesson. Now it says, my pack says lesson one here, your pack doesn't. It just says counter examples. It says it says number two actually, counter examples next to it. So the pack will look ever so slightly different in the, um, the formatting of it. Right, so it says we can't usually prove that something's always true, so we try to disprove it, and that's a counter example. So it says disprove the statement that x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 1. So let's try a value. Let's try x is 1. So the left hand side is x plus 1 all squared. So that would be 1 plus 1 squared. So x plus 1 squared would be 2 squared. So x plus 1 squared would be 4. Now if that's the same then, if I put in x is 1 into the other side of it, which is x squared, that's 1 squared is 1. And these are clearly not the same. Uh, oh, we've got plus 1 on the end, I can put that in the stuff. Plus 1, plus 1, still 2. Still not the same. There. So as 2 is not equal to 4, the statement is false. There. So you want to say now that x plus 1 all squared is not equivalent to x squared plus 1. That's pushing the idea that it's find your brackets and it all works nicely. This next example then says, oh, it's just give me a second to write that down. The next example says, disprove that statement is a prime number. Right then. So let's try n is 1. Now, this is. <laughs> In terms of an exam question, this is a shocker, really. Um, because you try lots of numbers all the way through to the 41. And on an exam question, you wouldn't do that and take too long. So if you put 1 in there, you get n squared plus n plus 41. It'd be 1 squared plus 1 plus 41. So that would be 43, which is prime. If I try n is 2, it would give me n squared. So seven, which is prime, and it works all the way through. Randomly works all the way through to forty-seven. So you'd never get this on the exam paper. Imagine trying to do this on the exam paper. So it would be like forty-seven squared plus forty-seven plus one. Uh, oh no, it's not four. Uh, where did you get forty-seven from? Oh, where is it? This is me trying to rush at my dinner. That should be forty-one. Okay. This is a reason I try and do stuff on a Wednesday afternoon when I've got time after I've done enrichment. Um, but we're training this today. So now I've got to do it. So we'll do about 41 now. So I've got 41 squared uh, plus 41 plus 41. So that's like if I took out 41 as a factor, it's like 41 plus 1 plus 1. So it's 41 times 43. Um, so we wanted to show it's a prime number. Well, that's not the case, is it? Because using 41 gives a number, which is 41 times it. So that's not the case. So it's not prime. As, uh, random ones. That's not prime as it is. The proper random. Uh, so statement's false. Uh, okay. I might have to stop there now. Not very much. Well, let's try proof by exhaustion because I'm exhausted. Right, so proof by exhaustion, so that's on your next page. 
so it says here, in certain situations, you can check all possibilities. Right. Well, if you look here, it tells us we're only going to use one, two, three, four, and five. So that's kind of quite nice to use. So if you use any one, I get one squared plus two is three. So that's not divisible by four. If I use two, I get two squared plus two. So that's going to be six. And that's not divisible by four. If I try three, that's going to be three squared plus two. So that's an 11. That's not divisible by 4. If I use n is 4, I get 18. It's not divisible. I really, really should not be called because I'm so tired. I do 27. That's not also. Ah, so you can die. Right. Get 25 there. If you a plus 2 is 27. That's not divisible by 4 either. So the statement's false. False told it. it's true. <laughs> this is our tired. Ah, it's true. It can't be divisible by four. So statement true. Can't be divisible by four. Can't be divisible by four. I'm going to stop there. All right, see you later.